showed the movie that first night in Chicago to see how the black audience would take it. Mm -hmm. He said it was an older woman in the crowd um, sitting near the front. And the older woman said, oh, Lord, he was running. I think he was running from the cops or running from, you know, um, running. He did a lot of running in the movie. Mm -hmm. And the older woman said, oh, Lord, please don't kill him. Because up to then, that she had been seeing a couple of black people getting killed in movies. Even Sidney Poitier got killed in a movie where the guy stabbed him in the back with a with a fishing hook mm. in the 1950s, a black and white movie. Okay. And the point what I'm trying to make here is we got to put a stop to, well, I know it's not going to happen, but we need to choose not to watch movies where we die all the time. Because mm -hmm. like Richard King is saying, if the, if, you, if, if, if the melanin is affected by the fear, then that stuff is going in into our psyche and into our melanated brain. Now let me give you an example now, because like I said, in the first one I saw Enter the Dragon, and I knew this was a, 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 a Enter the Dragon, and it came out later. Enter the Dragon came out fall '73, and I, I thought it affected me because I was a, I was a little younger when the movie came out. Mm -hmm. But I saw the movie again when I was 30. Okay. And I still was affected by the killing of Jim Kelly. Not only did they kill him, they they, they, they put the brother's death on the movie poster, and that movie poster is shown to this day when you pick up the video or the DVD. Mm -hmm. The point I'm trying to make here is these things are attacks. An attack a lot of times don't necessarily have to be the tanks rolling down the street. An attack can be psychological. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it can be psychological. Let me give you another example. How I was affected the same way in 1990 when Spike Lee came out with Mo Better Blues. Mm -hmm. I love the character. I love Denzel character. I love the, the, the jazz artist. I was glad that they put a film together about jazz artists because we've been rich in history with that. Mm -hmm. I like the, I, I the whole crew. I like the whole setup. But whenever he made the decision for the guy to take the horn and hit him in the face and destroy his... And, and, and mess his lip up right. and destroy his career, the next morning I woke up and I saw the movie, I was affected by it and stuff. I said, you know what, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And I said, we shouldn't take these blue f blueprints from Europeans who love to see that kind of tragedy. Because mm -hmm. we got to understand something here. These are our heroes. Right. And our heroes, are hey, rules, should have, you see, they shouldn't, be damaged on that particular level, and especially when the European is doing it to us. Like I said, every sci-fi movie, you know what I'm saying, and every every time we look up, they they, they cast black members in these movies to get killed. Mm -hmm. You see, and so my point here is, we gotta choose now to stop going to these movies. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where they getting killed. The other thing here is, is this whole. Uh, Got to wear the dress. The black actor got to somehow wear the dress. Mm -hmm. Now, or, 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 or play some kind of feminine right. role. Right. Now, some feminine character. exactly. Now, give me, give me an example. Tyler Perry. And this ain't got nothing to do mm -hmm. with no gay community because I'm going to tell you something. The white gay community is in on it too because, hell, that's all doggone Hollywood is. It's white gay community. But whenever they want to, see, it's interesting how they do things. Whenever they want to push the envelope. They'll get a black person to do it. Mm -hmm. So soon as Dennis Rodman put on the dress, he got a t he got a TV show. Right. Back in the nineties, and soon as we knew about a RuPaul, next thing you know, this brother got his TV show, mm -hmm. and we got several people can't get a TV show. We got the black woman that's, that's forced out of Hollywood now. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They got the TV show. Now let me give you an example. Of what happened here? As we know, that Dave Chappelle came on Oprah, and he talked about uh, he talked about um how he had heard this conspiracy on how they had to wear the dress and how he went on a movie set with Martin Lawrence and he was in, appearing in a movie with Martin Lawrence and um, he got in his trailer and had a dress hanging up and he said you know what, 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 what I, I, why I got to wear this dress he said I've heard about these stories about you know why I got you know about black the black actors in order to 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 cement your place in Hollywood you got to do something either Something derogatory or something about getting killed, you wear the dress and basically getting shot in the behind. That's the other one. <laughs> but he said, why well, I got to wear the dress? So he said, 
I'm not wearing it. And, they, and, the, and, the, and the director said, no, you got to do this and all. We paid a lot of money for the scene, blah, blah, blah. He said, I'm not, and he said it went on about 15 minutes. He said, and then the producer came in and they went on. He said, I ain't wearing the dress. He said, in 15 minutes, they walked out and came back 15 minutes later with another script. It was almost like they said they already they had a script that was written already where you didn't have to wear the dress, but they put this in here. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a, as a thing that they do to black people. Right. Because a lot of time when they make these movies, a lot of times these movies are written for white people. And then they figure based on the demographics, they can make more money by getting that black element in because they figure it will fail and go to video with some white if it's not strong enough for the white artist. So they put the black people in and it's a million dollar movie. Right. I mean a million, a million people sell or uh, make up so many millions on the first weekend. You see what I'm saying? Now, the key here is, I got a call from a brother, Shabazz, in New York. Two or three days after it aired on Oprah. Anubaresh. Anubaresh. And he told me, he said, remember, we had did a, a, a lecture in New York. I had done a lecture in Brooklyn in um, the summer of 2000.